So good. Mm -mm. Hi, my name is Zoe. I'm the Gypsy Psychic. I'm going to talk about twin flames in the spirit of Valentine's Day, which is coming up. Today I'm going to talk about how to know if someone is your twin flame. Number one, you feel whole around them. Like you feel like you're at home. They feel like home. It's like you've been searching for them without even realizing it your whole life. And when you're together, you just feel like you found home. Like you found like a place where you belong. Essentially, a twin flame is a soul that splits into two, right? So you have two souls that are looking for each other throughout time and space and not even time and space, but like other dimensions and other lifetimes and other paths. And so this force, this karmic force is like moving you forward and it's only a matter of time before you meet. And you may not meet in this lifetime, but you are on a path. Number two, you feel an empathic link. It's like you always know how they're feeling. Like you guys are always on the same page emotionally. And this aspect of it is very powerful. You are so connected through your heart and you are so spiritually connected that you can just sense when the other person is off or when they are feeling down or when they're really happy and you guys balance blah, 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 and you guys balance each other out. Number three, you are so lost in each other. It's like you forget about the world around you. It's this powerful connection, this powerful bond that you have and that's a very rare thing. And so the rest of the world has little importance at times. Like it just doesn't seem as powerful because compared to this powerful connection you share with this one person, like you can get very carried away and very lost in it. Time is irrelevant. Number four, you are so much more than just lovers. Your lovers, your best friends, your guides, all at once. You play so many roles to each other and it's very important. Number five, your soul splits into two. So you're both kind of mirror versions of yourself in a way. And that means that you're often on the same type of career path or destiny. So like when you meet, you're either both really creative. If you're creative, they're really creative because you guys come from that same core soul. You know, if you're a musician, that person is also a musician. So you kind of share that kind of destiny going on, that career path. Number six, you balance each other out. Think of each other as like the yin and the yang sign where, you know, one of you, when one of you is up, the other one's down. And it's just like this kind of balance that you have in this evenness. Yep. Number seven. You feel like you've met them before. I mean, they were like once a part of you in a way. So it makes sense that you would recognize them deep down as someone you've known like all your life. Number eight, you are on a journey together. So as opposed to learning from them, you learn with them. And this is a big difference like between soulmates and twin flames. A lot of relationships are meant to teach you a lesson. They're meant to, they're very powerful and they're meant to like be very balancing in a way. Like they'll solve a problem in your life or they'll teach you a lesson or they'll help with your growth. But instead of like this being a solution, this is a soul that has been searching for its partner. So you grow together, you're on a journey, you advance together, if that makes sense. You don't learn from each other, you learn with each other. Number nine, they get you in a way that no one else does. Number 10, you are drawn to each other. Even if you're just like bumping into one another, you find each other. Sometimes you'll meet your twin flame on the street and then they'll keep popping up and popping up because that's the way the universe works. They'll start pushing you together and you'll feel very drawn to them and you can't get them off your mind. Like even when you're dreaming, a lot of the time you dream of your twin flame and they appear first in your subconscious. So let me know in the comment section below if you think you are dating your twin flame. I would love to learn more about your relationship. Is that too nosy? I don't know. Share what you will. 
share what you want. Like, subscribe to my channel, and happy early Valentine's Day. Bye!